Hello, how are you? Hi to anyone who has been regularly watching my videos. Welcome back. I am so, honestly, I am so honoured and so grateful to the people who have emailed me about readings, who I've had a chat to. You've all been so lovely and hearing your stories as well. It really makes me feel, it makes me feel like I don't feel so alone anymore because hearing some of your stories, very similar to my stories as well, you know, it's just, it's been wonderful and I just want to thank you all and all the lovely comments and the likes and subscribing to my YouTube and liking my TikTok and all the wonderful messages. I am so, I am so blessed. I am so overwhelmed. I don't want to talk about too much or I'll cry because I cry for everything. But thank you so much. And if you're just clicking on one of my videos for the first time, um, I'm not going to bore you too much with all my story, but I'm I'm literally just only just starting to make my gifts more public now. But I'm a seer, I'm a psychic medium, a clairvoyant, I'm a Reiki healer. Um, I I, I am I've probably been hiding my light under a bushel for a while, but now's the time to share my gifts with with everyone, and I'm I'm hoping that by me sharing my gifts and putting my gifts to some good use for the divine it will encourage others to tap more into their gifts and as i said in my message to i think it was um somebody in the, the message earlier we're all here to support each other and the more we help each other through our spiritual journey it means we can actually like a positive domino effect help other people to do the same so so that's what i'm here to do and i'm really excited. I've just done a, an amazing quick message for TikTok so I don't know if this is going to be an extension of that and we'll maybe dig in a wee bit more and find out the story behind what happened but there, there's, I've, I, I said in my TikTok as well I've been getting the song you got me feeling emotions so there's there's a masculine somewhere somewhere out there who is feeling so emotional right now Um. I think he has just realised what, I think he's just realised who he loves and it's literally making him crumble into a heap of emotions. Now this, I'm not saying for sure it could be, but we'll know from the cards, but I, I get the vibe of a younger fire sign because the Knight of Wands came out my last read, so we may, we may, I'm about to clear, I'm about to clear the energy, so we make a different story altogether, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to see, if we, as I say, I don't know what energy will come out. Make it the same cards again, we'll soon see. But I'm going to start, as I always, always do, with my little chime here. So what happens is I just chime once, twice, three times, because I love the number three. And each time I chime, I take a big breath in through my nose, push my belly out as far as it will go. And then I bottle out my mouth. I do that three times and it just helps me connect, um, ground myself into the message a bit more and helps me connect more with my ancestors and guides and of course the beautiful archangels that are around me at this time. So um, feel free to join in. It might help you connect as well. So let's do this. And one more. <sighs> that time went on for ages. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. And I'm going to, I've already called in my answer stuff, but let's do it again because I like to do it when we're all, ta we're all together. And it brings in your ancestors who are watching this as well. So I call in the ancestors at this time, all the archangels of love and light and ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I ask Archangel Michael to come forward protecting this reading, protecting me, my home, my children and my dog and anyone who watches this reading online please. 
surround us all in the golden bubble of God's protective light at all times. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And if I call upon Archangel Metatron to stabilise the connection as I open myself up to be an open channel for spirit at this time, bringing meshes to the collective as long as it is for their highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you all for being here, for your guidance, your love and your protection. And so it is. Yay, let's go! I'm going to start, um, as I often do, with the Romance Oracle and I like to do this with my guides because they like to give me a past, present and future energy and it just helps me piece the story together. As a writer, that's how I always start and finish my books. I like to have a start to my story and a middle and an ending before I actually start writing the book. So, And I've written three books, for anyone that wants to know. Um, so past energy. So somebody's Somebody's feeling nostalgic. They've been looking at photos, missing you. So this is somebody in the past have really been missing you. Um, I, I wrote books, fantasy books. So I've always had a connection with dragons ever since I was a little girl and I wrote a book about dragons, but there was, all my books are to do with soulmates and soulmate connection as well, which is strange now because I'm, you know, doing what I'm doing now, bringing soulmates and twin flames together. But yeah, I my books were all about supernatural stuff, dragons and finding your one. So, um, and I haven't, um, I've probably read another book, but I've taken a break from that obviously to focus on my, my spirituality and my spiritual journey right now and obviously helping other people get on their path and, you know, if they've met their divine counterparts, etc. So let's see. What else can you tell us? What can you tell us about the present energy, please? So somebody in the past missing you, looking at photographs. What's happening in the present energy for this connection, please and thank you. What is the present energy of this connection, please and thank you. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about the... Okay. <clears throat> so in the past, somebody's missing you. Now we have seduction here. Now that doesn't necessarily mean, because it says here one night stand and seduction and third party interference. It could be third party interference. I'm not going to say it's not yet, but this could also, because it also says attraction, flirting and dating. So this could be somebody missing you in the past and now you might be in this kind of moving into this flirty, you know, attracted to each other phase. So I'm not going to say yet until I get more proof that this is a third party situation. But let me see. What is the future position of this? What is the future situation of this connection? Okay. Somebody having to enable boundaries in the future. So it says being charmed or used to enable boundaries. So somebody in the future is going to be setting up boundaries here. Mm hmm. Do you want to add to this? Do you want to add to this? What? Why? So why would somebody have to enable boundaries in this situation? Why would somebody have to enable boundaries? Stabbed in the back. So somebody was betrayed here, so they have to. So somebody in the future has to. Right. So let me just get this straight. Do you want to add anything else to this before I move on to the tarot, please? What happened in this connection? What happened in this connection, please and thank you. Something's changing fast, something's happening suddenly here. I had this card in my last reading as well. So in the past, somebody was feeling nostalgic missing you, but somebody may have been seduced. Like if you and your person were in a separation, they were maybe missing you and considering coming back to you, but they may have been seduced by a third party while they were waiting on your connection to come back. They they have to they have to now enable boundaries of this person going forward. And it's either because they 
betrayed you or because they got betrayed in this situation but something is changing very quickly here there's something that is happening very very quickly and very suddenly so i don't know if it's been some sort of epiphany moment and it could have, this could be an extension of my last reading because it did say someone's emotional someone could realize that they stabbed the wrong person in the back yeah there's unconditional love here Somebody could be realising, somebody could be realising now, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving and falling in love. Oh. Yeah, so maybe you and your person weren't talking and they were missing you, feeling nostalgic. They may be distracted by a third party here to get their mind off you. They thought, you know, why not? I might forget about my person that I'm missing. They ended up, so in the future, they're having to now set boundaries with whoever this third party is, possibly. And they're realising now that they've betrayed you. And it's brought in this realisation. It's brought in this realisation that they've actually fallen in love with you. Uh, my nose is itchy, so it's true. Ding, 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 we have a winner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, this, this, is this is an unconditional love connection. This person was probably just sitting, hoping that you returned or that they, they could patch things up with you and then they just got distracted by a third, third party situation. And now they're having to set boundaries up um, in order. But this, as I say, is something, it's like a, a, and when I see this lightning bolt, I think of God. <laughs> it's like, um, or um, who, who was it that had the the, the lightning bolts from, when, um, not Hercules, what was his, oh, okay, it'll, it'll come back to me hopefully, <laughs> but yeah, this is like, um, yeah, it's like love, love struck, you know, it's like somebody has been love struck by lightning and love here, it was almost like, yeah. Oh, this, this, that. Yeah, thank you. Um, but yeah, this to me is like God has hit someone's ass with a bolt of lightning. <laughs> it's basically, they're like, come on, wake up, son. Wake up, son. You've, you've picked the wrong woman here. I don't think God's got a Scottish accent, but if he did have a Scottish accent, I'm sure that's what he would say. <laughs> it was funny. Um, I'm very sad because, okay. Right, so the, there was a permanent ending and it says no second chances. And somebody was replaying, and I had this, I'm sure I had this card in my last reading as well. Somebody is replaying, um, now somebody could be replaying this third party situation what I mean is so somebody could be basically like reliving over and over again that they sleep with somebody else and they're replaying over their head and they think they they're they think they don't have another chance with you they think that that's it and I think that's why this person is so emotional because they've just realized that they, they stabbed the person in the back who they actually love and they, they think that this is it. They think it's done. They're they are so emotional because they love they love you, but they think now that that's it. There's no second chances. So give me another quick card from this deck, please. What what's the situation here? Yeah, I had this in my other deck as well. Somebody could be watching you. Um, they're trying to figure out a way to approach you. Um, after this betrayal. Because as I say, they don't think they've got a chance with you. And they're watching, they, they could be making sure that you're not going out with anyone, dating anyone. They could be watching and waiting for their opportunity to come in and um, give me a bit more information about this, please. Because I don't want to say too much more until I find out a bit more. What else happened here, please? What else happened here, please? Why is the sunglasses here? Why is this person watching? Right. They're watching.
watching because they want to try and revive this connection again. Because they want to express their love to you. So they're watching and waiting and thinking, is it this? Or can I revive this connection? Can I renew it? Can I pull this, this um, mess from the ashes right now? And they're going to be coming in with an expression of love. This and it wouldn't surprise me if the twin flame or the soulmate card comes out because this is what happens in the high level kind of um, connections. There always has to be some issues. Yeah, girl talk. So moving on. Yeah, this, this is what this is what worries them. This is what they feel. They're, they don't think you're going to give them any more chances because they're probably, what, see when they're watching you, where's my sunglasses gone? See when they're watching you, you could be out with your friends, laughing, having fun, looking good. You know, they're probably like, oh, she never wore that dress when she was with me. She looks amazing. So you're having fun, you're moving on with your friends, having a laugh, being single. And this person is thinking, she's my one. She's my one and I absolutely blew it. I blew it big time. <laughs> Instead of just coming in and telling her I missed her and I wanted her back. I tried to numb the pain by being with other people and yet sadly it does not work that way. <laughs> when you're in a divine love connection, no amount of numbing, no matter no much how many, how many people you go with or how many substances you in, involve yourself in. Nothing will numb the connection of love you have for that person. It never goes away. You can, you can put it to the back of your mind, but it never truly goes away. Yeah. He wants to take a risk here. <laughs> so I love how they've given me this. He's like, he's going to just, he just wants to talk and he's willing to take a chance. But he knows he may be rejected, but he's willing to take a gamble and talk to you about what he's done anyway and be honest and open and express his love. He's, he's saying, you know, I may as well. I've got nothing to lose here. I'm going to risk it all. I'm going to gamble it all on this conversation and express my love. And just hope and pray that she forgives me. That's what I'm, I'm actually hearing in my head. This person is willing to risk it all. He knows he's going to lose you regardless. He's willing to risk it all to come forward and express his love to you now. Yeah. Can't stop reminiscing about you. He had his emotions. I think when this person was wallowing in all this energy of missing you and I reckon that he, he literally, he knew he loved you at that point but he refused to actually tell you. Because kept his emotions, he refused to tell you. And in the meantime, you moved on. And he, you may, you know, he may have slept with somebody else to go over you. To stop, so he didn't need to actually express his emotions. And you may have found out about it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that's a bit of a story here. <sighs> he wants to be, he wants to offer you a stable a stable relationship now. He he likes you. He's coming and he wants to come and tell you he loves you. He likes you. Yeah, he wants to offer you stability going forward. So, and we've got the coffin here. So always a coffin. When and sad to say, when you see a funeral and you see the coffin being taken away and the hair so being carried into a graveyard, generally you know there's a birth coming soon as well. And it's a very true thing. When you see a coffin, somebody is giving birth somewhere. <laughs> So, so yeah, so coffins, endings mean a, a new beginning. So where will we go now? Quick tarot, I think. I don't want to make this too long. I've been trying to get my reading shorter. Um, so let's see. Can we get a bit more information? Yes, we can. Somebody wants to move this connection into a much better space. They want to move on from all the drama all the betrayal, all the, the bad stuff that went on in the past, they want to move on to a beautiful, calm, calmer waters. Nice waters that you can just float on without having to worry. So let me see. 
what else can you tell us about this connection? Oh, the cards are jumping tonight. Yeah, you're this person's wish fulfillment, whoever you are. This person is dreaming about you. They're probably waking up in the middle of the night, think you're live next to them, then they roll over and it's just an empty space in the bed. <laughs> this person is... I reckon this person is just seeing your face in their head all the time. Yeah, they're not sleeping right because probably every time they fall asleep, they see you. And then they wake up and they realise you're not there. And it's they might even be too afraid to sleep. Because every time they fall asleep, they they think you're back. You think you're, they think you're together. Oh, come on. No, they actually gave me half the day. Look. <laughs> no. no way, I'm not doing half a day. Thank you. Um, so this person really could be, and I, I don't know if that was um, whoever this person is acknowledging that I'm telling the truth here because um, the way the, the date literally, oh my goodness, the cards are literally flipping out tonight. So yeah, they they want this, they want this, they want to, they want you guys to build together. They want a, they want a partnership. I mean, I feel they want more than a partnership. Oh, that just came out back in. I saw the sun that jumped out there and then went back in, but let's see if I can do it again. Oh man, the hate cards. They are really all, <laughs> they're all for goodness sake. He's making me work. Whoever this, whoever this masculine is, he is really putting me through my paces right now. So the, this, this Emperor Aries energy, he wants this reunion years past life soulmate possibly even twin flame he's ready to to build and work together in this partnership you just behave my friend uh, honestly <laughs> he's putting me through my paces tonight i tell you whoever this this emperor is oh my goodness whose emperor is this okay i mean i, I don't feel this this masculine really did it and purposely yeah he's a, he could be he could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn masculine doesn't need to be this is just telling me that you know he's an emperor energy now he's feeling stable you know he's he wants to come in and offer you this very this very stable secure connection now so and we saw the stability card as well so he's definitely want to offer you stability he may be a business owner as well or have his own business, self-employed, you know, be doing quite well for himself. He's try he's gonna fight, he's gonna keep fighting, he's not giving up. That's why we saw the the hand of cards. He's willing to gamble it all on this conversation with you in the hope that you will yep, he's gonna he's he's fighting here for a victory. He's like, I'm not giving up and I'm gonna keep fighting until I get this victory with this person. He's, you know, he's saying, I know I messed up. Instead of just coming and telling me how I feel, I try to numb the pain, probably with, um, and I, I hate to say it, but he probably was just sleeping with random women. Um, because that's what they do. <sighs> You're his love. You're his two of cups, darling. Whoever you are, you are this man's, you are this man's wish fulfillment. You are his true love. This man is actually, I mean, I'm seeing someone who's literally lying looking at the ceiling. He is. This was the energy he was in before. <laughs> and he's, and he's, he's pretty bored. You know, he's bored just now because this is what he's actually wanting. But he's, you know, we saw the sunglasses. He's watching, he's waiting. Um, and he could have been like this in the past. He never realised he had love been handy to him by God. And he was probably distracted by, you know, his need to be with other women to try and sort of numb the pain. Sagittarius energy, but this is also, yeah, he's been, he's been guided. This is Archangel Michael and the Divine. This for me is um, Divine Healing, Divine Orchestration. Divine guidance. So this emperor right now, he he has been pushed. He has been pushed to come forward and express his love here. He's been 
he's been guided definitely been guided by the angel team yep king of wands aries leo sagittarius but this just means if your person i mean if your person is the emperor they embody every single king in this deck so he will come out as a king of pentacles he could come out as a king of wands which just means he's taking passionate action towards you so but he could be an aries leo sagittarius because the emperor is an aries as well but um this this man is he's he's about to take passionate very passionate action towards you he's coming and he's he's driving me mad because he's really messing up my car see he's actually making the cards jump <laughs> yeah in the past this was him and to be honest i think this still is him a bit um because we had remember we had the nine of swords I just think he can't, he can't sleep. He can't sleep until, because, you know, um, again, you know, uh, the Mariah Carey song. You got me feeling emotions. And I, maybe this man refused to, that's why we had the mask card. This man maybe refused to show his emotions in the past. And it basically, you know, <laughs> And now he probably can't stop crying. <laughs> like probably, probably, he's probably having a Bridget Jones moment, sitting, you know, eating chocolate, drinking wine, blubbing into his, you know, singing, I can't live if living is without you. I mean, this man has probably turned into a, a blubbering wreck. He was probably hiding his emotions from you and now he can't stop crying. This man, yeah, I mean, apart from making the cards spring out my day here. This man truly loves you, whoever you are. He really loves you. So I'm going to move to my relationship deck and I am sure I will get the keep an open heart card because I always get that one because you know what forgiveness, is, I can't tell you how healing forgiveness is, not just for you, but for, for everyone around you as well. Um, but mostly for yourself. Forgiveness is a healing thing for yourself. Um, and if you're struggling to forgive someone, ask the angels to help. Yep, yeah, this this man, he he's going to propose. I got this in my last angel. Somebody is going to propose here very soon. And I'm I mean we had the lightning card as well here. Somebody is about to propose. There's a some sort of big celebratory energy. I feel it like it's like I can feel, you know, when you get the butterfly tummy and you know something exciting's happening. The only way I can describe it is when you're on a roller coaster and you know you're going that slow, that chick, 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 when you're going up to the top of the roller coaster and you know that any minute now you're just going to go shooting down into that big dip and up again and your tummy goes that kind of excited flip. That's what I'm doing right this moment. Somebody is now this this masculine's very excited because I think he's he's willing to risk it all. He is willing to risk it all. Um let's do it one for all. I think that song was um was it from the Musketeers movie or something? Yeah, he's trying to find balance after being in this energy. Now, he may well have been, or he could well have been juggling a Capricorn, but I do think this is him trying to get balance back in his life after maybe being, and I did see um, he was put, seen itchy nose again. Yep, he was trying to get balance back in his life after being this energy, so it could have been addictions. He could have had, I don't know, if, I, I know, I, because I, I read a lot of these in my, my readings, but it could have been an actual sex addiction or something like that. So a sex addiction, addiction to dating, addiction to constantly moving on from one relationship to another, because that is an actual addiction. When somebody feels like they're getting too close to someone, they start running and then go back to the start. They go on dating apps, find a new person, start all over again. You know, start with the casual hookups. This this person may have been in that energy until you walked away of course and then they were like oh shit um yeah 
so they're getting bells back in their life after being in that area, yeah. <laughs> so now we've got a king of wands and a queen of wands. Beautiful, passionate couple. Both ready to take action. Both creative, sparks, exciting, vivacious, both very adventurous in and out of the bedroom. But yeah, this could be a actual person couple. So you could both be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius or have that heavily in your chart. But you could just be both taking action on each other. Oh my goodness, this man actually, he was driving me mad tonight. Look at this. <laughs> Gee whiz. Okay. This emperor finally, finally got clarity, possibly about this Queen of Pentacles. I feel bad because this Queen of Pentacles has been coming out in a lot of reads lately. <laughs> Um, sometimes in a positive situation and sometimes not, but in this instance, I'm feeling this is because I got them out side by side. This is somebody who's getting clarity about a Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, doesn't it still have to be that she was a Virgo Taurus Capricorn? It just means he's getting clarity about maybe somebody um, that was quite financially well off. But he's now getting made, he's preparing an offer to come forward here. He's made a final decision. More Sagittarius energy, more fire. This is also Archangel Angel Gabriel saying, sort it out. Get, get, you know, get your act together. Make a final decision. And once you've made your decision, go for what you want. And this is what he wants. He wants a beautiful union. Marriage, happy families. He either wants family with you or you may already have kids with someone else or you might have kids with someone else, but either way, this is this is a dream, right? This is happily ever after. This is the fairy tale ending. This is the, the kind of thing you see right before you see the end <laughs> and close a book. He wants this. He wants this. Shall I move on to... I'll maybe get, what will I get now? What will I get now? Oh, one more. Yep. It's coming in fast. Yep. There's something coming in. Oh, you said show the two cards side by side. Someone's coming in fast to offer commitment and marriage. Oh. I can feel this masculine's energy, by the way. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is, but he is fired up. Look at the bottom of the deck here as well. Reconciliation. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. You deserve love. This is, wait this is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Yep. Always is. Whenever you see the angel card. Whenever you see Archangel Michael in the Temperance card, that's patience, that's divine timing, that's healing, alchemy, divine alchemy, divine orchestration, all of the above. Yep. Do we have any other romance angels? And then I'll get into a few quick cards. Another deck. This, yeah, this, this man, he loves whoever is watching this playfulness. He's really hoping you're going to be quite playful and open and receptive to what he has to say to you. Yeah, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful side of fun to, to stand out. So if you both are this um, king and queen of wands, that is a really playful, fun, vivacious, adventurous energy. So maybe in the past, you and your person have always had this playful, fun um, relationship where you both laugh together and do very spontaneous things. Oh, so I'm going to jump out there. Okay. Yeah, there is so much attraction between the two of you here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this is saying be in the present moment all the time. Don't think too much about the past. Don't think too much about the, fruit, the future. Stay in the present moment. Ground yourself into the present moment. You know, even if you have to walk out into your garden and your bare feet, really dig your toes into the grass, ground yourself in and be present in this moment. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance at this time. So, yeah, keep yourself grounded, stay in the moment, stay positive, have faith, 
this love is coming back around. We had reconciliation in the bottom. Yeah, in the past, um, your person was in this unrequited love energy. So obviously we've seen the lightning bolt and he's been struck, love struck now, but in the past he was maybe giving you the vibes like, you know, I don't feel this. You might have been feeling this. Um, yep, you went into separation with this person and separation had to happen. It says time apart from your person was on the, was on the horizon. Yep, it's safe for you to love. Um, religious factors. So this could have been a cultural difference. You know, your person could have been um, very religious or his family were very religious from a different cultural background. And with you being spiritual, there's maybe a clash because it says here your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So maybe his family frowned upon your spiritual nature or something like that. Or maybe he couldn't you know, he, he didn't commit because in his religion he had to marry somebody from his own faith or something. Who knows? But only you will know your story if this story fits. So do we have anything else from this one, please? Uh, no, we're done. <sighs> Let go of control issues. That's probably for me as well. <laughs> I've got, I think I've got slight OCD times. <laughs> so doing things in threes is definitely one of my OCDs. So I'll get a couple of relationship cards and then we are done. Running, running, I split the deck on running. Yeah, that's bit running and return. <laughs> so somebody was running and now they're making a return. So, <laughs> um, and earlier on, I, I'm so cheesy, you know, um, you know that, you know, I, I love putting my own words to songs. Um, and earlier on, I was enjoying singing the, uh, my own rendition of Beyonce's Who Runs the World. Um, it's like I changed the word girls to God. So, you know, who runs the world? God. Who runs the world? God. Yeah. Oh, I find it fun. <laughs> And I'm weird. I'm, I know I'm weird. I just embrace my weirdness. And I'm sure God loves that. He loves that version. <laughs> the remix. Just hope Beyonce doesn't sue me for, for doing this. <laughs> for saying that. <laughs> okay. Get us you can run the world as well. I mean, Divine Feminines certainly take the lead when it comes to what goes on in the world. That's for sure. But no. God runs the show, always. So let me see. Wow, I just get told to look up at my microwave clock. I don't want to actually lift this, but it's 11.11 on my microwave clock right now. The time's wrong on that. <laughs> it's 11.11. .11. It just changed to 11.12 there. Oh my goodness. So this is, if you're seeing 11.11, .11, then this is definitely your, this is definitely a video for you. Soulmates. Yep, I knew it was a high level soulmate connection. I wouldn't be surprised if the twin flame card came out now that we've seen 11.11 as well. <clears throat> I can't control these cards, they're actually so hard to control right now. <laughs> I can't, I, would you believe that? I cannot, jeez, I can't, I just can't. I'm done. <laughs> So not only is this a twin flame connection, this I just saw eleven eleven soulmates come out in the twin flame card. Seriously, I'm 